What's up guys, Ricky Turner back with another tutorial video. This one's going to be a little different. I want to kind of touch on photography as well as videography type effects because I am both a videographer and a photographer and I feel like you guys are too and if you're not, you, you should be. So with this one here, I'm going to kind of go to my Instagram. Feel free to follow me at Ricky Turner. As you can see here, my most recent posts here has a little bit of a grungy look to it, you know, different kind of things that I've added in. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that today. Um, so yeah, I, I think this style is awesome, especially if you're a visual artist such as myself. Um, it really sets you apart from a lot of other people on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and I mean, it gets you lots of clout, which we all want. So yeah, with that being said, let's jump into it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to unsplash.com and I'm going to pick a photo from there. And this is basically just like a free stock photo website where you can get like tons of like free photos from awesome, you know, photographers. I'm also on it myself. The clout is real on here. So I'm just going to do, um, let's say portrait. Now, just because I'm skipping these doesn't mean they're bad. I just, uh, this is dope. I just have, I don't know. I'm weird. All right. So got that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop and make sure the dimensions are 1080 by 1080. Um, those are the best dimensions for photos and videos when it comes to Instagram. And uh, this is what we're kind of specifically going to focus on is posting to Instagram. It may be different on other social media sites. So if you are wanting to um, post on other social media sites, leave Photoshop open and just switch the dimensions and, you know, all that good stuff. So, so then what we're going to do is drop our photo into Photoshop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift. And we're going to drag this up. So what this does is it allows it to not look all kind of wonky. Like, let's see, I'll kind of show you guys. So if I were to drag this just normally without it, like you see how she just starts looking like really deformed and just crazy and such. Um, this just basically allows it to where you're keeping kind of the same look. It's not stretched and it just, uh, it, it's going to look its best. So perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to look up VHS overlay. Now this is cool guys because you could do this with any sort of like overlay or anything like that obviously but it just amplifies the look of your entire photo. And also you want to make sure they're HD because like even with this here it just looks a little not HD. So you want to make sure that it looks really good. Otherwise, it will show really bad on the photo because once you upload it, it's going to compress it and you're going to lose some of the resolution. So you don't want it to look like really choppy. I'm not used to doing this for a tutorial. So I'm just going to go with something like this here. So what we're going to do is just drag it straight onto or into Photoshop. And with these, I don't really care about, you know, holding shift and stuff because we're just going to change the blend mode. So it just doesn't, I don't know, to me, it just doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is go over here by our layers, and then we are going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. So you can see a little bit of a change. Obviously with this one, um, there's a white backdrop, so some things aren't going to show. Um, but the black, you could see that as well too. Maybe this wasn't the best photo. How fucking embarrassing. Um, I don't care. I'm going to continue going. So, and this goes with my point, actually, you can use multiple overlays. So here, this is where this comes in. I'm just going to type in grain overlay. Perfect. Now this is my favorite one to use. Um, it all comes down to personal preference. I just like the multiple colors and a little see how this looks on here. And I'm going through this quick. So, you know, try not to have it like elongated. So there you go. So you can kind of see a little bit it brought. I mean, again, this photo is kind of a little different, but I mean, it still looks pretty dope. So you can see a little bit of the grain there by changing the blend mode like we did to screen. Now you can adjust the opacity. Now, the only time I would really do this is if it kind of depends on the photo. Like if you have like a darker photo, you'd want to adjust the opacity to probably somewhere around like 60 to 50. Um, 
you know, it's all about, it, it's all your personal preference and how you want your image to look. I highly don't recommend putting these over grain images. It's just going to make your shit look horrible. So let's add some extra stuff here. And then I'm going to show you guys something awesome that I found. Let's throw one of these guys on here. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. And again, like I said, all these are kind of personal preference. I'm just using this for the sake of the tutorial, not really caring. So, boom. I'll probably scale this out and just keep that like that. That looks pretty dope. And I'll probably add another one in. What the hell? If you guys are here anyways, and if you're still here, thank you. If you left, I am sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, so let's go here and do one of these guys. This will probably add a little more of the depth that I want, especially to that white area. So let's see, screen. Okay, I kind of did. I kind of chose a shitty photo to do this with, guys, so I'm sorry, but you kind of get my point. But what I'm going to do with this one, because I think that this would kind of, uh, these things would amplify this, is I'm going to go over to text, and I'm going to go over here and type in vapor. So this is actually a font that I downloaded called Vaporwave Regular. I will, um, or well, it's called Vaporwave. And I will add a link to the description. And this is awesome because all it is is just stamps. So what I'll do is I'll actually come over here. It's just an array of different stamps that are like vaporwave-ish. There's one that says idiots, death. And that's the one that you saw on my Instagram. Fiji water, fuck with it. Pepsi, ugh, Arizona, mm, dollar. Um, you know, random girls crying and with headphones and the safe thing. I mean, it goes on and on dead inside. If you're, you know, feeling that way, I hope not. If not get help because you're awesome and, uh, just many different things like that. So with this one, I'm going to go with like an Adidas kind of vibe. And this is just free balling. What I'm going to do here and what I do with a lot of these too, is if you go to blending options, and this is just specifically, if you want to use this text or these stamps, so to speak, I always add like a drop shadow for and after boom. It just makes it pop. Um, sometimes I'll do like an outer glow. And as you could see, kind of very faintly, it'll give it kind of an out outer glow. Um, you can do inner shadow too. I don't like it. It just, I, it makes it look like an imprinted kind of stamp. I don't know if you guys like on the Yeezy, um, on the side there, it'll be kind of that indented, um, logo. They have an inner glow, satin, all, you know, all these different things that you can kind of manipulate for this one here. I'm just going to do, um, drop shadow and outer glow and then just press. Okay. So this is looking pretty good to me. What you can do to go right over here. And then let's say you wanted this to be like red, or like a yellow. So as you guys can see here, this is kind of the end result of that. You can take it into Lightroom, add like your Lightroom presets just to amplify it a little more. But as you can kind of see, you can, if you look a little closer, you can see that it looks, you know, it has that VHS look. You can see some of the different um, line effects and different things like that. Going back into my Instagram, you can see kind of what they can look like on other photos, different ones I've edited. I've added different overlays. And this one specifically, I took back into Lightroom and I edited a photo um, in Lightroom before I dragged it into Photoshop. If you want to like keep like a glow going of your content so it all kind of looks you know the same color there's a cohesiveness to it but yeah and like I said as you can see all these overlays are customizable this one I've added like probably three um, I added kind of an old film look and then I added an even more older film look with more of like a border um, scaled it up. I used the Vaporwave font and again the link for that will be in the description. It is a free download. Um, I have Mac. I do not know how it is with uh, Windows but you know that's it's a personal choice of yours to choose Windows. It's fine. But, um, but yeah guys so yeah it's basically it. You upload it and uh, you are good to go. <laughs>